Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so you are the man. You are the top dog at Storied. Tell us about Storied. For people who maybe haven't seen any other videos about Storied, you, you debuted last year at Roots Tech. And I, I have to be honest, it was a whirlwind last year. I had no idea. I was like, who are these people in this giant booth? I guess you guys were only out for a few weeks. Yeah. You really did a bang up job last year, but I really didn't quite understand last year what Storied was all about. So tell the folks at home what Storied is all about. Yeah, so Storied is really an end-to-end -end family history platform. So we have the ability to make a tree. You can either start from scratch, you can upload a GEDCOM file, of course, or you can import a tree and memories from Family Search. So whatever is easiest for you. And then we have a lot of historical records, which are great. So we have almost a billion historical records and we're adding more all the time. In fact, we're halfway done indexing the 1930 census right now. Um, we just released the 1950 census and we have lots of vital records and military and immigration, all these types of things. And then our big claim to fame is our newspaper database. So we have 300 million pages of newspapers, most of which are unique to our site. You can't find elsewhere. And we really have a focus on small town papers, uh, which I think are great for family history, because back then they would say, oh, Sally and Tom went to the zoo today. And that was big news. And, you know, and so yeah. that was kind of it's like the social columns are the best for genealogy. Yeah, it's like Facebook of yesteryear. Right. Uh, really fun. Um, and so anyway, you can find lots of great stuff in the newspapers and newspapers are really about stories. And because that was the backbone of our content collection, uh, we also own a website called newspaperarchive.com. And if you have access to Storied, you can also use the same login to go into newspaperarchive.com or vice versa. So it's just, it's all included together. Anyway, because we had these great newspapers, we, we wanted to lean into storytelling. Uh, we love stories. We think stories are super important. And so the opportunity to kind of leverage the content we had uh, to help tell stories we felt like was too good to pass up. So uh, a big part of what you can do on Storied is tell family stories. And it's super easy. You add a photo or as many photos as you want. You can upload audio, PDFs, and we're going to work on video soon. Um, and then you type a little vignette and you can ha and make a little story. You can invite a family group to participate. So you can invite up to 100 people. And there's no cost to them, right? No cost for them. It's just for you as the sponsor of the group. Right. And then they can contribute stories and, and other things, and including recipes. We do family recipes now. And then ultimately, uh, you can pull that together into a book. And this is a book I made about my mom. And she had just passed away recently. So I invited 55 family members to our group. And they told 65 stories uh, in one week, which is awesome. And they're just wonderful little stories. And this is the thing that a lot of people don't realize. It doesn't have to be very long. This is her grandson, Liam, and he just wrote a little paragraph about what he remembered about her. And, and so everyone could contribute their own little thoughts and memories. This was a, a recipe that someone put in. This is a story about my mom playing the violin that my sister put in. Anyway, it's a really beautiful output that you get. And this is all included in your subscription. You get one free storied book. Um, and each book comes with a QR code or every story, I guess I should say, comes with a QR code. So I don't know if you can see that little QR code down here. Oh, I see. Yeah. But that indicates that there's multimedia that you can play. And so in this case, I uploaded audio files of my mom playing the violin and you scan that QR code and you can hear her playing the violin. So it's a really cool way to, I guess, tie together the analog world and the digital world in a way that preserves it for future generations. So that is kind of storied in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah, the the uh, 12 story elevator pitch, right? <laughs> so let me ask you now, just so everybody can completely understand, you have a relationship with Family Search, correct? That's right. Yeah. And how does that work? Are you are you pulling data in from Family Search? Yeah. So um, we have an integration where you can import your family tree directly from Family Search, and then it will pull in. You can choose, but it will pull in all the memories, so PDFs, audio files, and photos that they have um, in the Family Search tree. We also, if you 
choose to go down the Jedcom route, which is a lot of people's preference, or make their own tree. Then you get hints to family search tree, and you can then one by one pull in the information or the memories that you want. I was playing with it last night and uh, recorded my screen while I was doing it. And I did, I pulled in a JEDCOM. It was easy. It took maybe 20 minutes for it to curate the tree because I have thousands of people in my tree. But now as a member, does any of that data that I pulled in, does that integrate with other members or is there going to be hinting going back and forth between members like, hey, so-and-so uploaded a record for your ancestor? So yes, eventually we're not there yet. Okay. So we're still All pretty right. new and we're working on that feature. It's on our roadmap. We just haven't got it built yet. All right. Very cool. So now you also have some AI technology to help you write some of those stories. Is that right? That's right. So how does that work exactly? So yeah. you kind of like type in a few prompts or does it pull from the data that you've uploaded or yeah so it's called story assist and it's it's really easy to use you basically when you go to tell a story you can just hit the button that says story assist and then it'll say okay what tone do you want for this story like funny serious like yeah. sad all these things and then it says what's the story about you type in a one or two sentences and then add a few details bullets and then it will construct a story for you and it's AI, so it may or may not be accurate, all these things. Well, as but with all AI, we yeah. need to edit it. That's right. Yeah. So then you can edit it, you can change it and get it the way you want. But it's a lot easier than staring at a blank page sometimes. Yeah. Um, so that's how it works. We're, we'll probably evolve it to the point where it gets more like interview style and these types of things and, and maybe becomes easier. We're thinking about voice to text instead of oh, that'd having, be cool. always oh, that'd having be cool. to type things so you can just talk and, and yeah. that type of thing, which I think is more natural, right? So, All right. So uh, hopefully we'll get together next year at this time. I would love it. And so when we get back together this time next year, what do you hope to have accomplished Brandon. in this year coming up from now? So in 2024, what, what are the goals? Yeah, so definitely one thing is to get video out because I think a lot of people have neat, fun videos. They want to be able to preserve them. And that's something that we want to be able to do. We're working on a gifting uh, product so that you can gift a storied book right. uh, or, or, and, and story prompts to someone else and they can easily make a book, um, which I think will be really good. And then hopefully we'll add a lot more content, lots of records, 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 records. <laughs> right, right. Well, I think, you know, I have to applaud you. There's, I, I realize you're brand new, you know, I mean, you're still in your going infancy. Through some, going infancy. through some growing pains still, but. <laughs> right, but you know, that happens with every new company. Believe me, I know I've run a few myself. So I really like the QR code like idea it. in this book, though. This is yeah. cool. So if anybody is is looking to uh, to want to write a book uh, in print, um, this is pretty cool. Does it put an IBN number in here by chance? Uh, no. No. OK. So it's just like personal publishing kind of book. That's right. It's a uh, print on demand. kind yep, of thing. Basically, that's right. So. Um, by the time this video comes out, Roots Tech will probably be over. And so the Roots Tech deals are over. So what would it cost for somebody to get into uh, the Storied platform and start playing? Yeah, Storied's really affordable considering the amount of records and things that you get. Uh, it's $84 for an annual subscription that includes a book. Um, and so that's a pretty good deal. But that doesn't include the newspaper archive, just the historical records. Okay. If you want to add on the newspaper archive, you can buy our ultimate package. It's $156 okay. for a year. And it includes a book. So okay. it's a pretty good deal. All right. right good. I appreciate you okay. taking the time. Okay. Taking the time. Thank you, Connie. Anything else you want to add? Gosh, I think you covered it pretty well. I'm trying to think if there's any other. No, I think we're good. <laughs> good, to good to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it.